Hello, and welcome to the third Self-Advocacy Suite Showcase video. This showcase will take a deeper dive into a new way of thinking, which is one of the curricular resources available within the suite. Throughout this showcase, we will review a new way of thinking's latest updates and enhancements, as well as provide a connection to the student self-assessment and curricular crosswalk and overview of the curriculum. Additionally, we will outline its features and provide some navigational tips for easy understanding and access. We do want to note that these revisions and enhancements have not been made directly in the printed version, but are available on the online module. As a new way of thinking was developed, a lot of research was done by the Pennsylvania Youth Leadership Network and other experts within the field. A Wisconsin survey revealed students still have high anxieties and continue to have these feelings in their lives past high school. Because of this, the group realized there needed to be a new way of thinking, and so this guide was created. Youth reported if we can get students with disabilities in middle school to understand their disability and abilities while their transition is beginning, then change can begin. This is why the guide has been developed. Middle school students and teachers must begin to understand the importance of transition by age 14 or younger. This guide was created to provide teachers with a tool to assist students with disabilities in order to learn about themselves, including how to accept themselves and their disability, understand how to combat automatic negative thoughts, otherwise known as ants, and change what students think about themselves. Learn how to have a voice through self-advocacy and personal empowerment and to create a vision for their future goals. Therefore, a new way of thinking is designed to be utilized as a guide in assisting students in developing self-confidence and help create effective transition planning. While early instruction and skills are important, a new way of thinking can be used with any and all students who need supports and strategies to improve their self-advocacy and personal empowerment for future goal and transition planning. A new way of thinking provides instruction and tools in assisting students with disabilities in the following areas. Self-accepting attitudes, combating negative thinking and thinking positively, rediscovering yourself, gaining a better understanding of your disability, making choices related to interests, and gaining self-advocacy and developing self-determination skills. Let's now start to talk about some of the recent enhancements to a new way of thinking, as well as some content and navigational features. Upon accessing a new way of thinking, the first link down from the homepage is titled Getting Started, and this is where you can access a variety of materials and information in preparation for utilizing a new way of thinking. Within this page, you will find access to the Self-Advocacy Student Self-Assessment, which is a tool to be completed with students prior to using this curriculum. This assessment will show the students and teachers their strengths and areas of needed growth within the current self-advocacy skills. We will dive into this more in the following slide. On the Getting Started page, you can also access the Self-Advocacy Curricula Crosswalk, which aligns and can direct you to specific parts of our suite of curricular resources based upon student responses from the Self-Advocacy Student Self-Assessment. We will talk more about this in the coming slide. At the bottom of the Getting Started page, you can find a complete copy of a new way of thinking that can be downloaded in booklet format as well. Additionally, within the Getting Started page is easy access to the Self-Advocacy Curricula Crosswalk. When used in conjunction with the Self-Advocacy Student Self-Assessment, the crosswalk can be utilized as a tool to help identify exactly which chapters within a new way of thinking would address and provide instruction in each of the various self-advocacy areas. For example, you can see that the first statement on the Self-Advocacy Student Self-Assessment located in the right states, 
I can talk about my goals and dreams for life after high school. When compared to the matching first statement on the curricula crosswalk, you can see that a new way of thinking guide and curriculum is located in the third curricular column highlighted in green. If a student rated themselves low in this self-advocacy statement area, it would be recommended to improve this self-advocacy skill through chapter five, which is self-empowerment, where students learn what empowerment is along with information around IDEA or Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, what is an IEP and how to be involved, and more about transition planning. There may of course be other areas or components of other chapters that touch on this area, but the identified chapter on the curricula are the recommended places to begin should you need help knowing where to start. Students should again complete the stealth the student self-assessment to gauge self-advocacy growth at a minimum at the completion of the curriculum or learning plan content that is taught. However, multiple data points and observations could be completed by having students complete the self-assessment multiple times throughout the curriculum to assess and monitor progress. A new way of thinking curriculum guide contains a total of five chapters. All of them contain five different components, which consist of learning points, which outline the objectives and important concepts of the chapter, downloadable chapter connections to college and career readiness anchor standards, social emotional learning competencies, and Wisconsin alternate academic achievement standards. Additionally, there are materials needed for each chapter that may need to be downloaded or collected before instruction. Each chapter has vocabulary to ensure understanding and comprehension of the content. Chapter activities vary from chapter to chapter with individual and small group activities for students to engage in. These lessons are easily able to be adapted to meet the needs of individual students. The embedded literacy increases the rigor of the curriculum guide and provides a comprehensive opportunity to provide self-advocacy instruction to students with varying needs and skill sets. The CCR anchor standards have been aligned to each of the chapters within a new way of thinking also. Due to the shorter nature of these chapters, it is important to note that the CCR anchor standards alignment is done by chapter and not by individual activity. This is a contrast to the Speak Up Becoming a Self-Advocate curriculum where each of the learning plans was aligned separately. These are located and can be directly downloaded on each of the five, chap five chapters main pages. You can see that guidance is also provided under the CCR anchor standards for connection to the alternate academic achievement standards. An external link is provided to view the essential elements for English language arts. Dynamic learning map tests, also known as alternative assessments, are tailored to measure each student's academic achievement with the help of linkage levels. Each essential elements target linkage level is most closely aligned with the knowledge, skills, and understandings described by that essential element. All essential elements are broken down by grade level, so it may be beneficial when working with individual students to utilize the linkage level document to help determine their current baseline, as well as progress monitor over time using performance level descriptors provided in those documents. Performance level descriptors provide an overview of the knowledge, skills, and understandings demonstrated by students at specific levels of performance on DLM assessments. Toward the bottom of each connections guide, you will find each chapter's connection to the social and emotional learning competencies. 
The SEL competencies are identified for each chapter as a whole, consistent with the CCR anchor standards. Self-advocacy and self-determination play a large role in an individual's social and emotional development. So identifying a student's baseline in this area and being able to document growth through process mo progress monitoring is crucial in evaluating the needs of the student as a whole. The social and emotional learning competencies for sixth grade through adult are directly linked for easy access and understanding of that competency continuum. You can reference the Self-Advocacy Suite Overview Guide for a complete list of chapter content and objectives within a new way of thinking. Another recent addition to a new way of thinking content is chapter vocabulary. Students will be asked to define related vocabulary and asked to use these terms through their chapter activities. Within each chapter, you will find a list of key vocabulary located directly under activities. Educators and students may also add any other words that are unclear as they work through the chapters. It is important to have a clear understanding of the vocabulary associated with self-advocacy in order to begin the process of developing strong self-advocacy skills. Educators and staff utilizing the vocabulary terms may choose to differentiate the instructional delivery as well as the level and form that is appropriate to each student's individual needs. Each chapter has a varied number of activities for students to engage in. The activities located within each chapter allow for educator creativity and individualized student extension. Many of these activities and strategies can be used to tailor instruction to meet individual needs. Effective teaching involves differentiation or providing all students with different avenues to learning. This means giving students multiple options for taking in information, varying the level of content you present, providing a variety of learning environments, and allowing for a variety of ways students can show what they learn. Please utilize any of these activities as they are designed or modify them to make them unique and differentiated for individual understanding and mastery of each learning point identified within the chapters. For example, Chapter two from A New Way of Thinking focuses on automatic negative thoughts, otherwise referred to as ants. This chapter contains a downloadable song and lyrics along with the chapter vocabulary and other associate activities, such as activity 2.3 titled Never Give Up. In this activity, students write one of their ants every day on a cardboard box and begin building a wall over a period of time. At the end of that session or week, students practice using positive thinking and quote Michael Jordan by saying, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, work around it. I say, if that doesn't work, knock it down. And then physically knock down the wall of cardboard brick ants or automatic negative thoughts that they have built up. At the bottom of the tab list, a new way of thinking contains resources from the Transition Improvement Grant, as well as statewide and national resources that provide valuable insight and additional information in supporting youth in transition these resources are intended to provide additional support as well as activities and resources for educators and youth to engage in for extension of their learning in a new way of thinking. In addition to this showcase video, you will find an extension guide that facilitates the connection between a new way of thinking and gaining important information about your students' preferences, interests, and strengths. This information of a student's post-secondary transition plan is not only required, but a crucial component of a student's transition planning process. This 
first question challenges you to think about how you currently gain information about a student's preferences, interests, and strengths. The second question contains two activities within chapter three that serve as assessments to gain this information and challenges you to think about how one or both of those activity assessments could be used to better inform your students' post-secondary transition plans. Lastly, due to the ever-changing circumstances that educators and youth face during COVID-19, how could using a new way of thinking be utilized during these unprecedented times? How could you utilize some of the Chapter 3 assessment activities specifically? This showcase was intended to provide a general overview of some of the recent revisions and enhancements that have been made to a new way of thinking, as well as outline some of the content and general features within the guide. A new way of thinking provides effective strategies and activities for all youth with disabilities, but it is important to remember that it is especially helpful for students who may be of middle school age, who are beginning to learn and understand more of who they are and how they can continue to accept themselves and their disability in order to grow their personal voices and future goals. We hope that you find the self-advocacy suite along with its newest revisions and enhancements to be of benefit to your students as they grow in their self-advocacy and self-determination skills. Thank you.